It's Money Monday, a new segment here at Four, where we talk about easy to understand ways to help your finances. And financial expert Paul Hood from Hood CPAs joins us now. Let's get started real quick. Lori sent us a question. Lori's a college student. Uh, college student worked part time of the year, had about ten thousand dollars in earnings. Uh, I guess she's speaking of a, a son. He got married in June. Parents claimed him for prior years. Now, is it best for him to file, or what's the best strategy for him to file to get back some of his money? Can his parents still claim him? All those questions. Sure. So the, the very first thing is, is there's certain tests the IRS has you go through, Craig, that says, can they be claimed as a dependent? So generally, the rule is, is if they're, over, if they're a full-time student, and the IRS says if it's just one semester. So in this case, yeah, the parents could claim the child that year, one more year. Ultimately, though, it's the child's decision because once they're over 18, you know, they're a big person, mm -hmm. they're an adult, they can make their own decision. But they, you know, that child can earn up to $12,000 not paying any, in any income taxes. So they would file their return. There's a box on that return, though, that says I can be claimed by somebody else. That needs to be checked. They need to look and see how much they actually paid in, too. That's right. To see, to see if, if it's, it's worth it. That's exactly yeah. right. All right, our next question. I have a daughter, Dana Sennis. I have a daughter who's now 19, has lived with me for the last four years. My ex-husband has always claimed her on his income tax. Is it possible that I take a turn and claim her this year since she's been living with me? Okay, so here's the deal, and a lot of people don't understand this. The IRS doesn't care what a divorce decree says. They care uh, of what's called, who's called the custodial parent, which literally means who this child lived with the most. It can be one day or one mm -hmm. hour, so people in that situation need to keep track of records. So if, if this daughter lived with Dana that, that more than the father, then she can claim them. Now, if the divorce decree, though, says he has the right, then she's supposed to sign a form with the IRS to give him that right. So she may be able to claim him as far as the IRS is concerned, but civilly she might have a problem if she tries to go against the divorce decree. And some of those decrees, they say sometimes you can alternate, That's years, right. so to speak. Yeah. So yeah. watch That's out exactly for that right. as well. All right, uh, John says, we've been looking for cars for my son. He's turning 16 this summer. Of course, he wants something really nice. We want to get him something realistic. Do you have any advice on what they should look for? Yeah, this is a great opportunity to teach your kids um, responsibility. So here's what I typically have done with mine. I have three boys, and we buy them, okay, a, an average car. For one thing, kids that are 16 are not the safest drivers. So we, <laughs> no. we bought inexpensive tanks. But then we would set, just like in my business, we have incentive-based pay. So we would create incentives. It says, all right, listen, Junior, if you want this car, this is the things you have to do with your grades, you're not getting in trouble, whatever. And then if they want to upgrade, make them pay for part of it. So there's a learning curve there. You want to keep them safe, tank, cheap, and then give them the ability to move up, but then they got to pay for part of it. That's one of the, thing, the things I like and I've done with my kids. We have a certain budget yep. that if they want a car that's more expensive than that, then bring it to the get table it, get and it. have a stake in in that vehicle. That's exactly right. And it's it, a great plan. You know, my parents did that with me and I yep. had to work and add to the car that I first got. Mine so. do and I got a great car, but I had it for about six months because I got tired of paying for it. So <laughs> it taught me a lesson. It's a difference when you have to pay the bill. It is, big time, for sure. <laughs> All right, Amber says, we're in the middle of a family battle. This is probably more common than you think. There are three of us and we lost our dad and our mom is now in hospice. She would like us to sell her home and split it three ways, but we have a brother who feels entitled to all of it without a will what do we do that reinforces the importance of a will right there that's will or a trust or what have you well first comment what would be that if you've got a dying parent or something generally it's not good to sell an asset prior to death because you get what's called a step up in basis mm -hmm. at death now a house that's set different because there is a provision to sell a house without paying taxes on the gain now if she doesn't have a will, and she needs a, I'm not an attorney, but we deal with this all the time in our financial practice, uh, the state actually has a will for her. And so if she doesn't have a will, generally the will says half of her stuff goes to her, her husband, which is gone, and the other half goes to her kids pro rata. So even without a will, there's a will with the state of Oklahoma. But if you, can quanti if you can qualify this, if she's still cognizant, it'd be great to be able to have a trust and have her dictate what happens at her death with a will or a trust. Bottom line, spell it out and exactly. give the expectations and what you, what you want done, and that avoids so many 
big, you know, chances for bickering That's among right. siblings and that Amen. kind of thing. And it's the worst thing I deal with. I deal with it all the time. That, that money just does crazy things to people. Yep. Well, hey, we appreciate you being here with us. I think yeah. we're running out of time. If you'd like uh, a financial question answered uh, that you'd like to ask Paul maybe next week, you can send them to Money Monday at Griffin.news. Paul, thanks for being here. You appreciate bet. it. And appreciate we will you, be back right after this.